Have you heard about pilots sometimes dumping a lot of fuel in the air? Do you think it's true? Yes. But why would I do that? Okay, first thing is first. I'll tell you how much that would be, roughly. Let's say we go a long haul flight, such as Seoul to LA. Boeing 787 carries roughly 170,000 pounds of fuel for that flight. It's going to be about 77 tons, and if it's converted to liter unit, it is approximately 96,000 liters. As you can see in this table, in South Korea, one liter of jet fuel is 0.794 US dollars. This means 96,000 liter of fuel sells for 76,224 US dollars and it is roughly equivalent to 99 million Korean won. It is huge money, isn't it? Now, we have to find a convincing reason why pilots have to waste that huge money in the air. Let's see if you have seen this thing before. This is called fuel jettison nozzle. Actually, not every airliner has this one. Let's go. Boeing 737? Or A320? Only long haul aircraft has it, such as Boeing 787 777, 747, or Airbus A330, 350, and 380. Technically, the weight of big jets is limited in order to prevent its structure from stress during takeoff and landing. And the max weights for takeoff and landing are quite different. Normally, getting out of the ground is way less stressful than touching down. So, max takeoff weight is much heavier than max landing weight. Are you with me? Let's say we're going from Incheon to LA and it's full passengers. Actual takeoff weight is almost max limited takeoff weight. The amount of fuel we normally burn on this flight is roughly 160,000 pounds or 72 tons. So even if we took off with maximum takeoff weight, we're gonna burn about 160,000 pounds during cruise for 11 hours. Our landing weight would be less than max landing weight by the time we get to LA. No problem at all, isn't it? But, unfortunately, right after takeoff, we lost main navigation system, which makes it impossible to proceed to our destination, LA. So we have to turn back to Incheon for inspection. But here's a problem. We're too heavy to land. Because we're still carrying 160,000 pounds of fuel. Definitely, our weight is way over maximum limited landing weight. So, we have to get rid of some fuel to lose some weight unless we have fire or smoke or medical emergencies. In those situations, it's so time critical that we should be on the ground as soon as possible even with heavy weight. This is why we have fuel dumping system in the cockpit. Ah, don't worry. Fuel dumping is done normally over the ocean or high altitude where fuel can be evaporated before it reaches to the ground. Those aren't vapor trails, that's jet fuel. 